All right, we've just installed macware fusion and it started to 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 boot and i wanted actually to boot the network uh, so no we have an iso ready but he doesn't see that one so he has to find the x64 64 bits iso and if he found finds that then everything will be just fine but it did not so how will we fix it pressing here the button here Let's do it. It's actually suspending, so it's not shut off. It's actually frozen in time, so we resume all the processes, which are basically none of the process, nothing changes. But let's go and change this also. So I do think that VMware Fusion should add some of the buttons to make it a little bit easier. So customize toolbar. What I like you to do is to Put an extra button here shut down to really shut down things and if you are a lover of snapshots elements you can add those as well what is a snap -out? snapshot a snapshot is an, an image in time so for instance you are installing something on windows 10 and you say wow this may might be tricky maybe the drivers will not function anymore uh, well, you know, I'll make first a snapshot and then install everything. So when things go wrong, you can revert back to the snapshot. So back in time, kind of time machine, stuff like that. What else? And sometimes you need to send a control alt delete to your Windows system to change passwords, for instance. And um, I do like also the option to have a settings button. We have a settings button here. This is the same. Um, you can admit it whatever you like you can add things here but basically this one is the one I wanted to have so are you sure you want to shut down never show this dialog again might be a good idea and then shutting down now it's really shut down and now I can go into the details because going into the settings is not possible when it's in um, frozen in time if it's uh, on resume so now I can go in here and this button or this one as well is quite interesting it opens up but not necessary at the, at the moment uh, collapse again yes please all right voila so settings uh, what we need to know and i'll go over all the rest of the menus in video 3 but what we need to know now is just the cd and we're gonna say instead of the super drive which in effect means i have to burn it on a dvd I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say go ahead and look at my downloads and there you have this ISO file and open it from there. That's what I want it to do. Let's have a look if that works already. If he knows he has to boot from the CD. And let's put it in the middle. And now it's like any other movie how to install Windows 10. Um, nothing new here luckily maybe so once you've seen one movie you've seen them all it's always the same procedure to install Windows 10 or 8 or 7 language to install can I choose something else no because I've installed it I've chosen it from the website from uh, Windows uh, from Windows yeah Microsoft.com Time and currency, you can change that. Okay, one moment. Okay, continuing. So, time and currency, we can change some things here. Chinese, let's look at my own country if we find something here. There it is, Dutch. So, I'm gonna take Oh la la, it scrolls too quickly. Dutch Belgium, Belgium period. Next, install now. And then the setup is starting. There are normally some screens still to be set up, but at some point in time you can just walk away 
and let the thing do itself. I don't have product key. I can buy that later. What do you want to have? Pro or home? So it's a choice. What do you want to have? And then of course you have to have the seal for that uh, as well. So let's go for next. You accept everything, don't read it. And an upgrade, there is nothing to upgrade, there is nothing available. So install Windows only. This is maybe for most of people the most tricky thing. If on a VMware machine it's very easy, you just say new and apply. Okay. And that's that. But um, on other systems it can be tricky if you have already a hard disk um, a partition and there are already parts there then it's um, a good thing to watch some YouTube installations from others. I think the best thing to do is to spare some time is to pause the movie here. Okay next screen get going fast. Okay let's uh, scroll down so be sure you see everything, there are scrolls here. Use express settings, we're not going to do that, we're going to customize. Personalize your speech typing, inking type by sending your input data to Microsoft. I don't want to send anything to Microsoft. To improve sending data to Microsoft. Advertise ID. Mm -hmm. well, Skype is okay. Location. Let's go ahead. This sounds feels like a dangerous thing. Automatically connect to suggested open hotspots. Not all networks are secure. I will decide myself to what hotspots I will link. The smart screen online service to help you protect is okay for me. Things will be sent to Microsoft. Nope. Here updates are coming from other PCs. No, I don't want that. I want it to come solely from Microsoft. And then it's just a moment or two or three Okay, so next up, so there are two things you can do. Your Microsoft account opens a world of benefits. Uh -huh. So you can log into uh, the system with your Hotmail, your Hotmail.com, uh, your Outlook, your MSN, and all things considered Microsoft. If you don't account, you can create one. You can skip this step. That is a way to have, for instance, a local user, just that you say, I just want to, to test Microsoft and then see how it feels, and that's that. And you can do this. So maybe, well, it depends. I don't want to share anything here on the movie, so I'm going to skip this step. Otherwise, I have to type in my account. Who's going to use this PC? That's no problem. That's Eric. And just trying if I can go ahead without passwords as well. I guess it will work since I don't get any pop ups. Don't see any movement as well. I 
you can always press here I hope no something went wrong password hint so probably required to do that blah blah and now let's go ahead make up for the lost time just a moment again okay yeah Cortana is your sidekick and so on um, not now to spare some time and then um, well Cortana is available in English but it's not available in most of the languages so uh, for me that's also a new thing Cortana but we know Siri of course from iPhone and Mac so it's not that new for us and I was getting things ready Waiting for the system to boot. I better pause it a bit. Okay, the system has finally rebooted. I mean, not rebooted, it's just installed. We didn't reboot yet. And we're clicking on start and then we're waiting for the response. There it is. So we can make this a little bit smaller. That's a little bit too big. And in height as well, that's a little bit better. So we can now do stuff with it, but then again, that's for another movie. 